city delhi mountain city desktop okay i will create one directory over here mkdr i guess terraform city terraform okay i will put all of the terraform configuration file over here so for that let's go to desktop here is where i am going to put my all terraform file i have saved all of the file in the object storage so if you want then there is a url for the files in the guide also so yeah here is the uh, link of the object storage url for windows so just uh, download all of these files and for linux you, you you can use these files let me go directly to windows and here is my files i need to download Continue blocking automatic download of the multiple files. Always. Okay, discard. Oh, I should keep on keep right. Keep download. Okay, let's go to the download. These are the four files, right? Desktop, Terraform. Now I need to open this file and set, correct my environment variables. So let's open it. So my tendency OCID is this one is tendency OCID, right? So just copy it and paste it over. Save. And next thing I need to do is I need to copy place user OCID. Oops, sorry, I replaced tendency ID in the place of the user ID. So this is the user ID, user, user ID and this is for tendency and since i am using the root compartment my compartment id and the tendency id is same for same for me and after that i need to replace this Compartment ID says it's too, font is too small, right? So let's make it. Okay, I do not have any idea how to increase the size. Settings, preference, okay, settings, preference, normal menu, tab, settings, editing, with one, and the, well, let's forget about it. Just I replace the user OCID, tendency OCID, compartment OCID, and my region is US as one, so it is fine. My private key, this is the API signing key. So this location could be changed. So I need to go for it and I store it in C, sorry, users, delimarjan, dot OCI. And here is my OCI signing key. So I need a private signing key. So just copy the location, copy it over here. 
and then this is fine me. And I have created a SSH key, right? So I need to replace it also. So in case of SSH key, it is in the desktop and inside the keys folder. Right? Yeah. So this is the key file I have created. This is the public key I have pasted. And this is the public key and this is the private key. So let's copy the location. Okay, the location is same. Let's paste the file name. Okay, I have changed the user user OCID. I need to change the fingerprint also. And I have changed the private key. This is the API signing key. And this is that if I have the US S1, so the reason that is same. If you have a uh, AP Mumbai, Mumbai, Hyderabad, or some other resource, other reasons, sorry, reasons, then you need to change it. Change this one also. So now let's upload the api signing key so in this case just click on users your username just scroll down you will get the api keys click on api keys and just add a public key so in this case select one that is my keys are on See users Kilimarjan dot SSH that sorry dot OCI that API signing key that pen. Okay. Oops, I need to delete these ones. Once again, select this one is public. Add it. So this one is added, right? So I need to copy this fingerprint and paste it over here. So if you need, if you check, then I have replaced tendency OID tension. Tendency OCID with my tendency OCID user user OCID with the user OCID fingerprint with the fingerprint that is generated after I upload the API signing key public key and I have corrected the API signing key location and the TF pass reason reason I have corrected the reason compartment ID and the SSH public key. Okay. So Let me check one thing and we will move ahead with the Terraform conference. Pin, pin, public dot pin, application key dot, I need the keyword dot pin. Dot pin. Okay, everything is set now. Now we can TR, we have a, we have a vision dot TF, let me, let me show the vcn.tf subnet.tf and computer.tf okay so we have a vcn.tf where i have defined the vcn these are the variables i am using uh can anyone share how to increase the size of okay i control I I I control so, will off Control wheel up. Okay, got it. Okay, so let me revise the END that's also. This is the 
uh, OCID for the user. You, you, this is the tendency OCID. This is the user OCID I have replaced, and this is the fingerprint value that I have replaced. Replaced, and this is the location of my API signing key, private si private key, and this is the reason reason I'm going to deploy my Terraform resources. This is the compartment. I'm using the root compartment itself, so the my tendency ID and uh, OCI compartment OCI has the same value. And this is the SSS public key and the private key. So this is the VCN one. These are the variables I am using. So I am using the variables for the tendency OCI. If you check the variable name, so I have used TF underscore bar underscore tendency OCI. So these are the keyword I need to use. And this is my variable name. And this is the value. And I have called this tendency OCID in. So this is my variable. I have declared variable over here. And I have used the tendency variable over here. Variables value over here. So if you check the vision, then this is the variables I have defined. This is the region prob sorry, this is the provider block. So I am going to use OCI as a provider. And my tendency use tendency OCID is from the variable, user OCID from the variable, fingerprint is from the variable, my private API signing key file from the variable, and my var region from the variable itself. So um, one, two, three, let's do this way. Okay, after that, uh, I have a resource, I have defined the BCN. And the name of the VCN is the TF demo VCN. CIDR block is 192.168.100.0 slash 23. DNS level is TF demo VCN. And the compartment I'm going to use is again from the variable compartment underscore OCID. And this compartment underscore OCID has a value from here. This one is the value. Uh, now, after that, I will define an internet gateway. And after that, there is a route table and the DHCP option and the resource for the security list where I have defined uh, egress rule to go anywhere. And that there is a port UDP. I have, I have allowed 319 to 320 UDP ports and inbound SSS ports, six for the TCP, then the max port, minimum port, 22, 22 is port for SSS, and I have defined 80 port. I have defined ingress 80 port to allow. So after that, I have defined ICMP rules so that I can allow ICMP rules from anywhere. Else. After that, I have a subnet where I have read availability domain value using data block, and I have a resource block where I define the subnets, public subnets, and I have defined resource block, private subnet. And after that, I have a compute, compute where I have defined these uh, compute blocks. And I, I am going to use image. This image, this image is for Oracle Linux 7.5. I need to define the OCID of this image. If you are using, if you are not in US S1 region, then you need to change this value because the OCID of image in different region has different value. So if you are going having any issue with the image, then you can go to this URL and find out your image OCID value. Let's show me. Well, let's show you. Let's open. Oops. HTTPS docs.cloud.oracle.com slash US slash US IAS. Okay, this is the URL where you can refer your image. If let's say if you want for the CentOS seven, then CentOS seven seven six.
correctly measuring okay let's go for the correctly measuring this could be easy let's find the 7.5 you can pick you can pick any OCID right just it should be in your region so let's see the same five is I think they have phased out it or something else. Okay, let's take an example of seven point. Okay, let's let's take an example of seven point eight. Okay, if you go for the seven point eight, then you you will get the AP answer. Such in one region has this OCID, Hyderabad has this OCID, and Melbourne has this OCID. And you need to set, you need to uh, choose OCID as per your region. If you are, you have, if your region is Mumbai, then you need to use this OCID. Okay, in this case, uh, I have US S bond, so this is the OCID I am going going to use. And this code will work if you are in Phoenix region, S bond region, Frankfurt region, or London region. This work for this whole region. If you have different, then you can add it over there. And after that, the DB size is 50. Then the OCI Terraform instance, the name of the instance is TF demo instance. And after that, the shape is this. And the PNIC virtual NIC is using public subnet. And the host name level is TF demo one. Then image, I'm going to use the image as per the region. Then Timeout equals to 60. So this much only I'm going to use. Okay, let's try it. Now what we can do is we can do check the VCN. Okay. Let us destroy everything. Okay, now if you check my vision, there is only one vision, vision 001, right? And if you check my compute instance, right now there is no instance running. Everything is terminated or in the process of termination. It is terminating. So let's start with, uh, let's keep watching on the VCN list and let's execute the code. Okay, the first thing we need to do is Terraform init. This will download the Terraform plugins, whatever the plugin you require. In this case, I am using the provider OCI, so it is do downloading OCI plugins from Hasika. So the version of the uh, plugin is 3.83.1. After that, you can check value. Okay, we can do one thing. We can export the environment variables. This is the file where I have defined all the environment variables. So 